volatility is back, and stocks are dropping like a falling knife. I thought it would be a good time to discuss and remind ourselves what a bear market looks like. Coming up. What's happening everyone? Welcome to Think Finance. My name is Raj and on this channel I talk about personal finance, investment ideas, money management tips and all things finance. If you're new to the channel and finance is your thing, consider subscribing. In this video, I'll talk about what it means to be in a bear market, how long can it last, and can it be predicted, and moves you can make to protect yourself. By the way, I am a buyer of this tip. I have a separate video on my investment strategy, link in the screen and somewhere in the description if you're interested. So what is a bear market? It's definitely not as cute as that guy there, Broadly speaking, it is uh, a turn in investor sentiment. Pessimism takes over that leads to falling stock prices. According to market gurus, we are in a bear market when major indices fall at least 20% or more from its 52 week high. Indices will hit lower lows and lower highs in terms of price movement. Now, there is a difference between corrections and a bear market. We are in a bear market when stock prices drop 20% or more, whereas corrections typically drop around 10%. Corrections are short-term blip versus bear market that tends to last somewhere between 15 to 18 months. So the question is, can you really predict a bear market? There is this theory of business cycle led by the National Bureau of Economic Research, NBER. I'll call it NABAR. The idea is that you can recognize a bear market if you know where the economy is at in this business cycle. So let's look at the business cycle. Business cycle is nothing but fluctuation in economic activities. It features four stages and depending on what stage the economy is in, it may be expanding or shrinking. So let's look at these stages and how they relate to a bear market. Expansion, healthy economic growth with a GDP of two to 3%, stocks are doing great, unemployment rate hovering around manageable four to 5%, inflation is under control at targeted 2%, Everything is golden. I love expansion. Peak. Typically, it is the end of expansion where the economy is overheated. The GDP is growing greater than 3%. Inflation is clocking crazy numbers. And stock market is showing signs of irrational price action. Everything is a buy, as if nothing can fall. Basically, everything, stocks, gold, housing, all feel like a bubble we pretty much have reached a peak. Contraction, tables turn, parties over. Economic growth slows and falls below 2%. Typically, we are in a recession when GDP hits 1.5%. You will hear layoff news, unemployment rises, stocks enter a bear market as investor confidence drops and selling begins. Trough, phew. Finally, it's over. This is when the economy hits rock bottom and transitions from contraction to expansion stage. Our friends at the Nibar determines where the economy is at in the business cycle. So what does all this mean to small investors like you and I? Well, it would be nice if we knew where we are in the cycle. For example, if the economy just entered the expansion stage, then a bear market is unlikely. But if we are in a bubble-like world where everything is a buy, then it's probably time for the contraction stage to kick in and maybe a bear market or at least a correction is on the horizon. Nabar apparently decides when the economy enters different stages, but then that also doesn't help since they wouldn't know until the economy has actually entered a stage. Here is the bottom line. The world would have been great if we knew when the economy is going to hit contraction. 
but no one can really predict until it has actually happened. That saying, you cannot time the market, is real, is legit. However, we can look for red flags. And here is how. We can track some of the indicators that influence the business cycle. For example, GDP below 2% is a red flag. Unemployment over 5% is a problem. Inflation above the targeted 2% may indicate a bubble. Consumer confidence below 100 means consumer is going to cut down on spending in the next 12 months. And finally, a slowdown in the housing market can be a reason to be worried. So if any of these indicators worry you, maybe it's time to take action. Okay, so somehow you figured out that we are now contracting and maybe we will hit a bear market soon. How can we protect ourselves? Goal is to decrease risk and invest in areas that have been resilient during a bear market. Few things to consider. Trim down on growth and momentum stocks. Think Netflix, Tesla, Amazon. Keep good chunk of cash to buy the dip. Rebalance your portfolio. Allocate more into gold, healthcare, consumer staples, and bonds. Professional investors will also buy protection. Basically, these are investment tools that will increase in value when the market drops. Personally, I am a buyer of this recent dip. As part of my overall strategy, I have set aside cash for this exact reason. Buy when the market gives us an opportunity. Again, it is impossible to time the market, but having some knowledge about how the economic activities impact stock prices may save you some green and green is the reason you're watching this video okay that's all i have guys thanks for tuning in let me know in the comments how you are managing this sell-off are you a buyer what is your strategy if this was helpful hit that like button and if money is your thing consider subscribing until next time peace